Hi, I'm Angus Meadows, and this is my testimony. The Bible says that they shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So I wanted to share with you my story so that hopefully you can overcome just as I have. See, I was born in Sacramento. My father and mother knew that she was pregnant when he was shipped off to Vietnam. When my dad came back, he had several issue, mental issues uh, that affected our family. When I was 13 years old, my dad was murdered and it really sent me off the rails. Depression, um, violent thoughts. I figured that I had to protect myself from then on and protect my mom. And I did everything that I could to do such. Uh, I would lie, I would uh, go places that I shouldn't, do things that I shouldn't do. and really was on a downhill spiral. And this lasted for a few years. I tried to run away from home and um, tried to really find ways to comfort myself and to just be someone that I, deep down I really didn't think I was, but I thought I had to be in order to be a man. Um, which is kind of funny because I'd never really seen what a real man had been like. My dad had a lot of mental issues after Vietnam and um, my mom had to divorce him. So he, while he was around and in our life, it wasn't a constant. There wasn't any training and any conversation on manhood. And, and so I was just kind of figuring things out on myself and uh, trial and error, <laughs> bringing a lot of problems to myself. Um, when I was 16, I ended up going into a psychiatric hospital for depression and um, having violent thoughts. They were afraid that I was going to hurt someone and uh, really be a danger to myself and to others. And really, if I think about it, I, today I should be a statistic. I grew up in a low-income neighborhood and my dad being murdered, my mom raising, being a single mom. A lot of the guys I know are either in jail or dead, and, but I, that's not me. I'm not there. It's not my story or, or my testimony. Um, not all of the things were bad. I met my wife when I was 16, and we've been together now for 34 years, so not everything has been bad. But if I were to think about it and tell you what my testimony is, I can't say that my testimony is all the things that I've been through or all the things that I've done, because I don't think my testimony of the things that I've been through, those are just history stories. Those are just experiences that, that God has used to shape me. My real testimony is Jesus Christ. When I stand before God, I'll be able to say, look at his life, not my own. Um, I think we, we even in the church, get our testimonies wrong sometimes. We want to tell about all the bad stuff that we've done and all the bad things that we've been through. And those are a part of our story. Those are part of that shape us as men and women. But when we stand before God, our true testimony will be what Christ has done for us. Paul has a small phrase in Ephesians. He says, but God. So while I can sit here and tell you how I've been addicted to pornography, how I've struggled with depression, how I've been an immature Christian, I've been a mature Christian, how I've um, wanted to walk away sometimes. Uh, I can tell you about more about my growing up and how hard it was. I'd rather tell you more about Jesus because he's the reason I'm sitting here today. He's the reason that I'm still married He's the reason that I have a love for people and a, and a love even for myself. It's because of the blood of the Lamb. That is truly what helps us to overcome. His work on the cross, His death on the cross, His resurrection, His sinless, perfect life. And beyond that, His gentleness, His kindness, His joy and His peace that he's more than willing to share with us who believe in him. That's my testimony.